So how much money have fraudsters been able to get of your middle class tax refund? California lawmakers estimate tens of millions of dollars. The issue obviously center stage during a hearing at the state capitol. KCRA 3's investigates Brittany Johnson joining us now with the extent of the fraud and the state's response. Well, Ty and Lisa, it is a question we've been trying to get the governor's office to answer since last year. We want a dollar amount, even an estimate as to how much of California's middle class tax refund has fallen into the hands of fraudsters. KCRA has been covering various concerns and issues with the middle class tax refund debit cards being drained of funds and people not receiving payments. During a budget hearing committee, assembly member Vince Fong said to his understanding, there's been millions of dollars in fraud and asked the governor's administration if they could confirm that dollar amount. The middle class tax rebate delivery um, is my understanding that it has been hit with about $90 million worth of fraud. Um, is that an acceptable amount to the administration? Any kind of fraud would seem um, unacceptable, but there is, uh, obviously this is a large program, over $9 billion, and they are within the threshold uh, that they agreed to within that contract. So just to be clear, under the contract, 1% of fraud is allowed. I don't know the exact um, percent that's been found or the exact percent, but it is less than 1% in terms of the fraud. Again, we asked the state today for an accurate dollar amount and if the $90 million fraud amount cited in yesterday's hearing was accurate. We just heard from a spokesperson from the governor's office, I mean just within the last few minutes here, who says he does not know where the $90 million figure came from and that we won't have a complete number until the program wraps up. Ty? Well, but how do they know if they're under 1% then, if they don't know the total? Hey, I guess we have to wait we'll for the program to, to wrap up. We'll Who knows? We keep trying to ask. We, like I said, we've been asking yeah. since December for answers for a dollar amount. Right. Less than 1%. We need some answers. Yeah, absolutely. A big question also about refunds, if they're even taxable at the federal level. You've been in contact with the IRS about this. Try and get answers for our viewers. Any updates on that? All right. As you know, emails, phone calls daily to the IRS trying to get some answers and some clarification for our viewers and the, to whether or not these payments are in fact taxable at the federal level. But there's not only confusion about that, some Californians are in limbo because they haven't even received a refund payment yet or the money from their debit card was drained due to fraud. Now, the IRS asked people to hold off on filing their taxes while they worked guidance. Now, even state leaders can't get answers answers from the IRS. So a group of Republican lawmakers sent this letter to President Joe Biden asking that the middle class tax refunds be exempt from federal income taxes. What the state of California has done what what how the Newsom administration uh, uh, structured this um, clearly did not work. And um, and we are trying to get down to the get to the bottom of it. But at this very moment, you should not be taxed twice on your refund. And we're going to do everything we can to get to the get down to the bottom of this. So a lot of questions that we still need to be answered here. And as soon as we get them, as soon as we hear something from the IRS, which is supposed to be by tomorrow, right. we'll be able to pass along that information. Well, and you can imagine how some people might be concerned by the fact that you've been asking them for months. Mm -hmm. You told them you were going live with this at 4 p.m. today and then just got the response minutes ago, well mm -hmm. after the 4 p.m. Yeah. mark. 4.05. 4.05, mm -hmm. also with the response. We have no idea where that $90 million figure is coming up, even though it was stated mm -hmm. yesterday in yeah. a hearing. So you can understand why some a lot of people would be concerned about where their tax dollars are being spent or how they're, you know, fraudulently being used. Exactly. You know, we will stay on top of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, we yeah. have a team of people, like I said, calling, emailing every single yeah. day. We put in public records requests, trying to get more information on this. And as soon as we get something, we will definitely pass it along to our viewers here. Thank you for your relentless work, Brittany. All right. Appreciate thank it. you.